I have already played this game. I got it on Steam. I tried to play it. The freaking CPUs were just, they were dead. They, they weren't doing anything. I'm gonna be honest, I, I actually do enjoy fighting CPU players. I tried out the, the boss battles, and yeah, same thing there. The boss battles there are pretty underbaked. Now that I have a chance to play it for free, instead of, you know, playing it and then saying, Steam, give me my money back because this was a steaming pile of shit. Can I play as Mr. Krabs? No. Well, great, you give us the free access on the day that Mr. Krabs comes out, and you don't even let us play as Mr. Krabs. Smart decision there. Gotta catch him all, because he's a Pokemon trainer. I mean, Danny Phantom. Yeah, it's Power Drill. That's from uh, Tournament Fighters. Awesome. Oh, no, he just turns into Diddy Kong and does the rage attack. Okay. Shit, I'm probably gonna get demonetized for saying that. I mean, I, n nothing. Donatello. What? Why did he say Donatello like that? Wait. Donatello? It's like he's unsure about himself. It, it, this one's Donatello, right? He didn't do that with Raphael, did he? Raphael. No, he says Raphael normally. What about April? April he says April weird too. April O'Neil? April O'Neil? But in the form of a smoke bomb. Alright, got some tournament fighter stuff. Nice. Got clouds up air as an up special. You just died. Oh, speaking of cloud stuff, look at that. Wait, he has the same move for his up air and his up special, but the up special just has wings for some reason? That's kind of lazy. What the hell? He's just shooting a laser? Okay, he goes Sephiroth there. At least in the first game, yeah, all the characters had clunky animations and only a very few select moves, but it worked with that because of the speed. The speed actually worked well to synergize with all the freaking rough edges of that. And when you got a, a bunch of clunky move sets and a slower move speed, it just doesn't feel good. I can't do Mr. Krabs, so we'll just have to go with Plankton, I guess. I'll we'll have to cross over to the dark side. We're not working for the Krusty Krab anymore, we're working for the Chum Bucket, boys. Oh, that's in a Shockwave? I got Power Wave. Okay, Plankton's weird. Wait, did I see that right? Yeah, it's got a awful, it's got a very strange graphical error there. Oh, okay, I'm Inkling now. Oh, I really am Inkling, look at him. Yeah, this just doesn't have the same combo potential fun that the first game did. Uh, yeah, the combo potential in the first game was just juggle your opponents using the same freaking moves, but you still had the option to freestyle with how quick all the moves were, too. Oh, hey, I got the rest. Nice. Is he gonna come over here? He's taking his sweet time. Oh, hey, it's Tommy. That's cool. Let's see how all the CPUs do. Oh, look, there's Mr. Krabs. Can I play as you please? What killed Nigel? Wait, what the hell? Nickelodeon All-Stars. You got SpongeBob. You got Danny Phantom. You got Aang. You've got... Grandma Gertie? I'm sorry, I, I, I don't think anyone thinks of... Grandma Gertie when they think of Nickelodeon All-Stars. They do now because of this game, but they wouldn't normally. Something about the first game, it just worked. This one, it feels like a two steps forward, one step back situation. It more so feels like one step forward, two steps back. Was that actually, <laughs> wait a second. That's freaking Shadow's theme from <laughs> Shadow the Hedgehog. Well, let's see how the freaking um, boss battles are. Also, the arcade mode sucks. I don't like it. If you want to play the campaign, don't, because it's just more arcade mode. King Jelly, more like King Smelly. Wait, can I use my super on him? Okay, that looked terrible. Okay, then. Oh, I see that, uh... The arrow for the item is still here, and I, it has a hitbox. 
and I died. Alright, let's see how the final smash looks on Flying Dutchman. It looks even worse somehow, and does almost no damage. Alright, so Shredder, if you remember, was a free DLC character in the first game. In this game, they made him a boss, and he is a terrible boss. All he does is reuse all the animations from when he was a playable character, and it looks clunky as hell. And it's clunky as hell to fight, too. Okay, what, what the hell is he doing? Bubbles. Okay, nice floating there. Even more floating, but it looks like he's on solid ground there. These boss fights definitely feel like an afterthought. Oh, okay. Shredder also has power drill. Nice. That's Raph's move, but okay. Yours is the, the claw hooker. Shredder talking about hookers. Alright, let's see. How does this look on Shredder? Like shit. What, are you going to come back in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 3? Pretty sure this boss has a King K. Rule attack. Yeah, this one. Although it's more like a PK Star Storm than a DKC King K. Rule boss fight. I think the problem with these boss fights, when you compare them to something like, say, the boss fights in the Subspace Emissary or in World of Light, they've only got a very few select moves. They're very simple. So at the end of the day, the way that you play is more so just being very patient. I mean, yeah, you could just be super hyper aggressive, but yeah, if you want to get more uh, more secure results, then you just play patiently. Yeah, you can do that with Smash Bros. too, but with this one, it's more built around that. And then it, it just feels very weird for a platform fighter. It's not too bad, but it just kind of makes it feel like all the bosses just drag on for too long. Did I just hear a Spongebob sound effect? Like I was doing an attack while I was pressing A to continue. Okay, he teleports. Does nothing. Oh yeah, he just shoots projectiles and shit. And then sits here as a punching bag. Every character says ha 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 in this game. It's a freaking trend. Fun, engaging gameplay. Now what? What do you want to do now? Okay, you're gonna throw more. <sighs> do other people find these boss fights fun? Because I I don't get it. I I I, I seriously don't get it. Okay. Oh, I thought he was gonna slow me down or something. Pull a witch time. Oh, he's not dead? Okay. Now he is. <laughs> wow. That boss rush was awful. Let's go to the chum bucket. There's no crusty crab, so I guess this will have to do. <laughs> it's a dark day when you have no crusty crab and you're forced to go to the chum bucket. Jenny, let's see. I almost thought Ember was Jenny for a second. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's a very strange neutral air. Okay, he's already dead. Aim. I like that. That's a fun rocket. Is she still? Oh yeah, she does have her tantrum. BS. Same thing for the charge attacks. Yep. Okay, that actually was a fun way to... Okay, I was appreciating that until the one frame disappear of the freaking hot sauce or whatever Plankton was splooging all over her. Also, Zuko's coming as DLC, and Iroh, and we've got Azula. I mean, what's next? Are we gonna get frickin' Ozai as well? How many firebenders do we need in this game? This game definitely has a better soundtrack than its predecessor. Oh, wait. What happened there? 
Yeah, that's what my side special is supposed to be, but I just... Is her meter there basically Cloud's limit meter? Is that what I'm getting at here? Okay, he's bringing it around town. Nice. Krakatoa? Okay, the Van Geek's hat ruins that. Oh, recovery? Get an extra recovery. Why is this Squidward's up special? What is this? I don't know why they decided to cut so many characters from the first game. And the choices were just so strange. Yeah, they got rid of Cat Dog? Like, what, what the hell were they thinking? That's also a really weird one. They got rid of the main character of the Loud House. But they kept his goth sister. That's like if the next Smash Bros game cut Fox, but kept Falco. Yeah, they got rid of Helga, my original main from the first game. So I haven't played all the characters in this game, but... I don't know, so far it's just really hard to find characters that I actually enjoy playing. We got Ember, yeah, that's great. We got the Shoto of the game, cool. Everyone else, they're, they're just like fine, but I don't really feel compelled to play them anymore. Like, Squidward is fine. Do I really want to play him more? Maybe. Same thing for Plankton. Yeah, no Hugh Neutron. What's weird is that Hugh Neutron is in the story mode. So they have this character who all the fans wanted and who you had to pay for to play in the first game. And then the sequel comes out and he's just a nobody in the story mode. Yeah, Garfield just feels like a shadow of his former self with this slower... <laughs> this slower speed just ruins Garfield. Oh, that's right. They gave him a freaking shine. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they were thinking with how they handled TMNT characters. You either do one turtle, or you do all the turtles. What did they say? They said, okay, we hear you, you want Raph and Don, we'll bring them into the next game. Cool, awesome. Next game comes out. Where's Leo and Mikey? Did they completely miss the point of why people were asking for Raphael and Donatello in the first place? You know, ever since Don't Hug Me, I'm Scared, I can never see lasagna the same way again. Cause I'll always wanna say lasagna just for fun. Yeah, I'm not enjoying. Garfield. Garfield was so much fun in the first game, so this is such a disappointment. Oh, okay, she just chose to die there. Yeah, alright, I'm getting some stuff with Donatello now. All right, there we go. I haven't seen much from the live action avatar that's coming to Netflix. I know some people online are like, who is this for? Is this really all that necessary? But I'm like, if they can do a good job with it, then who cares? It, it, it'll be fine. As long as they don't fuck it up like they did with the freaking live action movie that they did. Yeah, as long as it's not like that and it's more close to the original cartoon series, then hell yeah, they can do a fun way of retelling that story. I don't automatically think that all remakes and reboots are automatically bad, or signs of people running out of ideas. Yeah, I feel like if you are a fan of Smash, then maybe you'll enjoy this. I know that uh, a lot of people who are Smash fans have said that, yeah, they enjoyed this game and the first game. And me too, I, I enjoyed the first game, but this one... Okay, great stage design here. Playing as Zelda and Sheik. Wait, that's freaking the the Loud House kid. What's he doing in here? Get out of there! Get back in the roster! What are you doing? I want to count the stages and the characters. So let's see. Got four SpongeBob stages and four SpongeBob characters. Three Avatar stages and the three Avatar characters. Zim stage for Zim. Three Turtle stages and three Turtle characters. Rocco stage. Garfield stage. Jimmy stage. Ren and Stimpy stage. Nigel stage. Two Loud House stages, but yeah, it's just the one character. One El Tigre, one Angry Beaver, two Danny Phantom for Danny and Ember. Reptar stage. We've only got one Hey Arnold stage, but two Hey Arnold characters, neither of which are Arnold. And then we've got stage for Jenny. 25 stages and 25 characters, right? Yeah, 25, not counting Mr. Krabs, because he's DLC, so not gonna count him. That means that everyone gets a stage, except there's one Hey Arnold stage and two Loud House stages. That feels like it should be the other way around because of 
there being one Loud House character and two Hey Arnold characters. Was there something going on mid-development? Were they gonna have the Lincoln Loud guy back? But instead they decided to pivot to either Grandma Gertie or Gerald? What does she have? Kazuya's double jump? They're turning Lucy into Kazuya. I guess only in jumps so far. Okay, way to just end your own life, Azula. Never mind. A everything that I said before about the CPUs being fixed, I lied. Jungle Japes in Smash Bros. Melee. If you know what that stage is like and what uh, could happen to CPUs in that stage, yeah, you'll know why uh, Azula's actions there gave me some strange flashbacks. Let me see if I could do just a regular online match. Mr. Destroyer. O O O Q. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. Strike! <laughs> hey. Strike! Damn it. Okay. Oh, is this four stock? I guess so. What? Oh. Okay. I don't know what happened there at the end. Let's see, does this guy want to rematch? Um. What happened to the music? Alright, well, we'll just go back to doing this then. That's actually a really good forward air. Um, Plankton? So how are you guys doing? You guys enjoying the stream so far? I've been watching the dub, so I haven't seen anything from Season 2. I'm waiting for that to get dubbed, then I'll watch it. Okay, there's no sudden death, I just win. Man, he's a high jumper. Bold and brash, hell yeah! Who's up next? Who's on my kill list now? Alright, let's play as Jimmy McGill. <laughs> okay. I, uh... Made a good decision there. Okay, that was actually pretty well synced with the music. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, I'll actually play now. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not digging Raph's moveset in this. Like, Donnie's moveset, it works. It's good. You can freestyle with it. Raph's just feels like they didn't know what to do for his moveset. Whoa, that's very laggy. They somehow found a way to make Patrick worse in this game than he was in Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 1. Did you just call herself Mama Lucy? Mama Luigi? <laughs> Did you say order? Order. Order in the graveyard. Wow, this move was so much faster in Nick All-Stars 1. Now it's incredibly slow. Oh, okay, I overshot that. Well, okay. Ooh, that was a pretty cool looking back air. And that forward air looks terrible. Wait, wait, what's the speed for doing? Okay, that was weird. Was that a glitch? Okay, it's happening again. And just in midair. Okay, I think that's a glitch. Okay, is that an attack of his or is that a glitch? I can't tell. Can he summon the other beaver? Yeah, Jenny's another character that just feels like she peaked in the first game. What is this lose animation for the beavers? I can't tell what they're doing. Are they thumb wrestling? Are they dancing? They lost. They, they seem like they're celebrating. Oh, hey, I landed the limit meter version of the treble clef move. This is such a weird move, like... They're just like, okay, let's do a uh, four-hit combo special move. And for some reason, just make it create a treble clef, because music. Finish. 
<laughs> you alright there, Reptar? <laughs> what is going on right now? Oh, there's Leo and Mikey. Alright, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna call it there. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to do the typical YouTube stuff if you enjoyed this video. Like the video, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and if you want to support the channel and get some neat perks, consider clicking the join button and seeing how you can become a channel member today.